Hello and welcome to another video blog post from CMSQuickStart.com. Today we are talking about the Content Profile Module. Many of us are familiar with this, but I'm finding more and more people that are not, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Uh, basically, your Content Profile Module is going to take a content type that you create and associate it directly with a user in a way that extends uh, the user data structure. So you have the uh, your username and email and password that a user has, and that's all you have. And there is the core optional module built into Drupal Core that has uh, features. It's, it's the profile module, they call it. And it's intended to add fields, you know, age, sex, weight, shoe size, favorite color, whatever information you want to gather. But uh, it's very limited in what it can gather and how it processes that and validations and how that information is exposed later on and how it's used. Uh, very limited. So the content profile module has been the clear winner uh, for this functionality for a long time standing. So I'm going to go into great detail about how to set up a nice content profile instance for yourself and to uh, set up a good user profile basically is what we're going to do. Real quick, who are we? We are cmsquickstart.com. Check out the awesomely cool uh, pre-themed, pre-configured profiles on there. And uh, also check out the blogs. I do many blogs. If, if this is your first blog uh, with me and CMS Quick Start, check out the blog tab there. I have many more. And they are pretty cool, I think. We get a lot of good conversations going on in there. So uh, join the conversation and check out the blogs. Who am I? I am Doug Van. Check me out at DougVan.com for all your Drupal training needs. I travel around a lot to uh, uh, private training gigs for, uh, for, for colleges and universities and uh, private industries, as well as Drupal camps and Linux fests and other things of that nature. So I love training and I love developing and I just love Drupal, period. So that's what I do. Content profile module. It is very cool. I've used this many times for many cool things. You will too once you know how. So I have downloaded a file right here, popped it into my sites all modules folder. And here is uh, here is my list of modules. I use the module filter module, which I did a, a video on six weeks ago or so. All I have to do up here is type the word profile, and I see all the modules in my site that uh, have the word profile. Here's that core profile I was talking about, which I don't know anybody who uses because it's very, very limited. But here's the one we we're talking about today, the content profile. Uh, content profile user registration. So if you do have extra fields, of course, in the user profile, you can present these fields to the user at the time they register their account on your site. So that's pretty cool. So instead of just gathering a, an email address and a username, you can get more information. Content profile tokens. Uh, this exposes information uh, from your user profile in other areas in the form of replacement token. You've used those in path auto and uh, auto title and other cool places like that. So uh, I'm going to save this page. Now the content profile module creates a new option when you create content types on your site. So we need to go to content types, take a list. Here's a list of all your content types. We're going to add one. And you can call it the biography, content type, the user profile, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call mine bio. And we do have, of course, the uh, human readable name on top and the machine readable name on the bottom. And uh, these are really user profiles, so I'll just put user profiles in here. Okay. Now, submission form settings, we can change the name of the title in the body, the, the label. And I would call this, um, you know, real name. You know, let's get people's real names in here. Because user names can be kind of bizarre, you know, cool cat 55. What's that mean? Is this person born in 55? Are they 55 now? Uh, maybe they were born May 5th. That's what 55 means. Uh, and how cool is this cat? So cool cat 55 is a strange name. So we can keep that username, but we can also make the title the real name of the person. And the body, I think bio would be a good uh, would be a good choice there. So uh, and then uh, because we're user one, we have access to all these settings. Comments? Uh, no, we're not going to have comments on users. Uh, workflow settings. This is important. We would definitely want it to be published once they create their profile, but not promoted to front. Okay. Now here's the most important uh, option right here: content profile. It asks us yes or no. Use this content type as a content profile for users. Well, of course, that's exactly what we're doing here: is creating a uh, profile for users using this content type. So the content profile option there allows us to marry this content type straight to the user, and it has a very special uh, relationship with that user. Now, obviously, uh, blogs and recipes and pages and stories and job postings and product reviews, whatever kind of content you have, one user owns that content. Same, same situation here, but uh, as opposed to simply being the owner of the node, they have a, a much uh, more entangled, enmeshed relationship with that node. And we'll see more about that very shortly. So here is the uh, bio. You can manage fields here, add a, a user profile, add a date field for a birthday. 
You can put in node references to other content. If you have various pieces of content on your site that they could relate to, they can pick and choose from that. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. Whatever you can do to a node can be done here. You can embed media fields, uh, YouTube videos, blip videos, MP3s, whatever you want to do. So the typical stuff. Let's go ahead and create the very first instance of, an, of a content profile node. Create content. Bio. So my, my real name is Doug Van, which actually my username is Doug Van. That's not so hard to do. Um, awesome guy. That's one thing about my bio. Leaps uh, tall buildings in a single bound. And can't spell. Yeah, that's that's true too. Awesome guy. Leaps tall buildings in a single bound. So that's I'm a pretty super guy, really. And again, I'm user one, so I get to have access to all these options here. When you give uh, the content profile of a node creation ability to your users, they wouldn't have all these settings. So uh, there's nothing really here that we need to mess with now. So I'm going to save this. Now let's head back over to our list of content types and click on Manage Fields uh, on the bio content type. Yours may be user profiles or user biographies or whatever. I'm not going to add any fields here because you can do that. I mean, that's not the purpose of our talk today. But you have the edit. You can change the name of it to bio, biographies or whatever. Uh, displaying fields, and I have the arrange fields module installed. But here's a new tab you've never seen before. This is only available because we did choose the content profile select box. Over here in the content profile section, there are some really cool functions. And again, this, this is why this, you know, I, I tell you that the content profile content type that we created here has a very special relationship with the user that owns it. So here we are on the content profile tab and there are a number of things we can do here and I'm only going to touch on a couple of them. Right now the default, uh, the first area is display settings. So how do we display the content profile information? Now obviously you can go to that node and look at that information, all the fields you have, uh, user image, date of birth, shoe size, whatever kind of fields you put in there. But uh, by default this will display this, display the full content. So when you go to the My Account page, you'll see all your information there. And if this were a multi-user site, then uh, someone could come to my page, you know, user slash one, or user slash uh, admin, whatever the case would be, and they can see all my content profile node information, all my bio node information, displayed right there. Below this area is the uh, Profile Edit tab. Show a secondary tab below the user's Edit tab. So when you go to edit your, your uh, account on, on a logged in system like this, you have, of course, the one edit button where you can change your username, uh, your, your email address, and your password. But there's also a secondary tab in there that lets you change your information about uh, you know, your, your age, your shoe size, your favorite color, etc. And you're probably familiar with this in the case of uh, DrupalCon websites and Drupal Camp websites. This is exactly what happens here. Uh, you get a second tab to edit your personal information. Now here's the fun part that I mentioned uh, only in passing earlier, user registration. Use on registration. Use this content type on the user registration page. And once you select that, there'll be an option to select you know, which fields you want to use. If you have 20 fields of data, you don't have to present all of them to your registration. Use on administrative user creations form. So uh, use this content type when an administrative user creates a new user. If you haven't created a new user yourself before, then um, you know that uh, all it asks for is a username and password and email but you can now actually enter in more fields. That is how that goes. That is all that you need to know about the content profile. Play around with it, really. There's some documentation at uh, drupal.org slash handbook that gets more into detail. I wanted to get you in the door of the content profile module, and I hope you've appreciated that. And do check us out at cmsquickstart.com. Some really cool, highly pre-themed and pre-configured themes out there. Do check me out at dougvan.com for all your Drupal training needs. Hope you enjoy the content profile module. Check you next time. Bye.